Hey everyone, welcome to my new building. We're almost out of all of our old buildings. Uh, the building on 42, which were curated was, is sold and just trying to get that off the books. The 3322 Oak Street, where we did all our warehousing stuff, that's gone and the, shoot, the guy already sold it to somebody else. We have 80% uh, of the yarn building taken apart, except for my studio. Uh, and so now all that stuff is in here. And so we're gonna show you what the building looks like, talk to, talk to you about uh, plans, have a, a better idea of how, what, what things are, uh, where things are going and what they're gonna look like in the future. Uh, but I wanted to keep you guys in the loop, sort of air our dirty laundry here and show you everything that we own is all now just kind of strewn about in this building, uh, take you through what my plans are. And uh, we're gonna get started on this I think probably early summer we'll start, you know, tearing things apart and start working on it. So obvious, this is the entry. It's got this weird like lick and stick flooring that clearly will have to come up. Uh, we'll be doing likely Cree lighting or some sort of lighting with our, our friends at Prime Lights here in this whole place at some point. Right now we just have, uh, you know, kind of replacing bulbs. These are all, you know, T5 regular uh, fluorescent fixtures throughout the whole building. Uh, and so we'll be working on this here in the next, you know, next six, six months or so, tearing out all the lighting and, uh, and, and you know, taking one room at a time. Clearly this, you know, the, the wallpaper has to come off. So Trevor's been kind of working on one room at a time, just slowly, you know, peeling off the wallpaper and repairing, you know, the drywall. That's going to be a big project uh, that we'll have to work on. Well, what my plan is here, uh, I think what we'll probably do is set up some sort of, I mean, this is a pretty big area. Uh, we, we may end up having like a reception area where, you know, we'll have a couple of employees in here, you know, just sort of greeting, but also there'll be a, a hybrid role, just have somebody in here that's available, but they have, they have uh, uh, multiple tasks to do. Uh, I envision having our apparel line, you know, set up over here. Uh, not, not that people are going to be coming to visit to buy apparel all the time, but uh, any of our branded stuff, you know, OG branded stuff, we're going to put here just so uh, I think it would look kind of cool. Uh, this was a major project. We couldn't get in the building for um, over a month uh, because of, you know, we needed to, once you open up Pandora's box of asking for permission, uh, you end up with all kinds of problems. And so with this crazy, because this was a, a bank, banking corporate center that has this crazy um, you know, fire suppression and sprinkler system. You can see all the sprinkler heads everywhere. Uh, there's also a, a halon, you know, a suppression system where the servers were. Uh, and so if you have it, it has to be inspected, it has to be quarterly checked. And then they had to put a, uh, a cell phone thingy on here. I don't even know, I want to know how much that cost me, but uh, that was the thing that held up our occupancy was the fire suppression stuff. So then, this way is going to be our conference room. So right now we just took all of our uh, stuff from the, the design section of, uh, notice how yellow it is in here, it's freaking terrible. Uh, the walls are yellow, the lights are yellow, the floors have yellow in it. It's like I'm always eradicating yellow from my life. Uh, but we kind of put our setup here, our design setup here temporarily. And then you can see we just have, you know, we, we have, we have um, a lot of work to do in, in choosing where we're going to put stuff. Uh, but this, I want to make a state-of-the-art conference room. Uh, this room is roughly, I think it's 16 by 18. Uh, it's a pretty sizable room um, where, you know, we do have, you know, quite a few meetings. And they've been using this to meet around the table in a stand-up fashion. Uh, I think at some point I'd like to have a big custom table made and I think we can do like a 14 or maybe 16 seat uh, conference table in here. And uh, I don't think we'll do a, like, I don't really like it when companies do those sort of live meetings where you have a bunch of people and then it always looks like it's so far away. So I don't think we'll do any video in here, but, uh, and I don't even know that I'll do any, any display or TV in here. Mainly I just want a really great conference table uh, for us to, you know, host, you know, I guess leadership meetings and stuff like that. Uh, so you can just see we just just stuff, you know, the, all the things that we've had, we had a place for, uh, have just kind of come all into one one building, and then we'll we'll slowly start to organize stuff, build. We're gonna have a lot of lev rack in here, uh, and then setting up the closets and things, the server room, stuff like that to store things. Um, but we're gonna do more of an open open office concept. 
Uh, so this area here is going to get broken up into uh, product development, uh, cinematography likely, and um, um, we're, we're going to build a lab for Bryce with 3D printers and stuff. Uh, and so we're going to put some walls in here. This is the only room we're going to add walls. Uh, and uh, this will become a, I forget how we have it set up. I think photo studio is here, cinematography is there. Bryce's labs back there, product development will be in the middle, um, and we're going to continue to do this concept where we have meeting rooms, uh, and so we'll set up uh, the offices will be a place where people do you know, Zoom meetings and stuff like that. Uh, I want to keep the leadership with their team instead of isolating them in an office. Uh, and so the offices will become, you know, the ones that we don't tear out will become you know, meeting areas. But notice we got the whole darn place in one room. You know, this is like 1,100 square feet or something like that, just this one room alone. Obviously, paint the walls, paint the trim. You know, change the door hardware, you know, the, all the ceiling tiles, great. Um, you know, change the lighting, and we've got a you know, pretty decent setup, change the flooring. Uh, so what we'll do procedurally is we'll take the wallpaper off, fix the drywall, paint the walls, change the lighting, then do the flooring at the very end. Uh, and I'm not sure what we're going to do. We'll probably do carpet tile of some sort. I don't think I'm going to do the polished concrete thing. Once we start to tear out ceilings in some areas, we'll decide are we going to do like big, you know, tall open, or are we going to keep it more walled with, with offices. This uh, obviously is the break room, so this will become a big, you know, we're going to do an awesome kitchen and set this up. Right now we have our, just sort of our saber cabinets and temporary microwave set up. And it's actually better than what we had before, but it's uh, something that we're, uh, where did that fridge come from? Huh? Brooke just got it, donated it. Oh, okay. We all kind of put together, yeah. Gotcha, that's cool. Um, but we'll be doing some fancy stuff in here, some, uh, oh gosh, the freaking thing on the wall. I guess I have to deal with um, idiosyncrasies of, of regular people. I don't like that. I see that thing on the wall there? Yeah, when I make this nice, that ain't happening. So, um, yeah, sink and cabinets, and we'll get rid of the RCA TV in the corner there. Um, I should make them watch like old HR videos on a VCR or something. <laughs> Workplace safety, stuff like that. So, um, these hallways are going to stay uh, up to, so let's head, head this way, up to this position, this point. So, we're going to have to put, let's see, a wall. Because this is the back of the break room, right? So this will come out, uh, and so we'll have a, a doorway here, and the warehouse will, will start in this position here. Uh, so all of this, so this office, all these offices down this wall here, so all of this, where we have, you know, extra boxes, press all. Um, so this is all the stuff that was in my building up on 42. So this was the, the curated building. Uh, and so all of these offices will be coming out up to the bathroom. So the bathroom backs up to here. And so we've got, you know, more press all here, press all here, press all here. Um, and so we've got all these offices will become big, you know, we'll, 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 we'll take the ceiling up all the way to 15 feet. Uh, all of this tile will come out, carpeting will come out. We'll do some sort of polished concrete or something like that. Same thing here. These offices are coming out. And this will become, I think it's roughly 7,000 square feet of uh, warehouse space. Some Cox hose reels, garage foam cannons. Um, this is, um, in this office is some audio stuff, more, more Cox. Uh, and so right now, this is where they're assembling and building stuff. So made this little temporary setup here and it's functioned pretty well uh, so this is where they're making crimping hoses um, building you know custom link stuff our garden hose and our um, you know uh, this is our uh, lower pressure our air compressor hose uh, the continental f5 stuff uh, right now justin's bottling drying aid uh, and so we kind of have a pretty temporary little manufacturing setup here that this will eventually 
Uh, I'll show you where this is going to go, where assembly is going to go uh, once we start you know, tearing out. This will be sort of, I guess, phase three. I'm um, thinking about this in, in, in three, three main phases. Phase one is my studio, which I'm going to show you. Phase two is expansion of the current warehouse to the, to the left. Uh, and then phase three will be, will be this area here. Uh, and then there's probably 15 phases. But those are the three things that I have in my head at the moment. So right now, these offices will stay. Um, so these two are going to become my you know, product lab. So this will be lined with, uh, with uh, Levrac. It will also be set up with uh, our mounter, balancer. Um, it will be uh, our air compressor, big giant air compressor system we're going to put in here. Um, so this wall will stay. So we'll keep this wall intact. Um, Susie's office is going to go here. This will be a leftover flex office, uh, probably for finance. Uh, and then this, this room here is going to become the dedicated podcast studio. Um, so I'm going to convert this to podcast. And um, I'm gonna a couple of displays I'm going to figure out what to do with. What's that other one? Oh, that was my... Uh, that high sense from was that in your place no. hmm. I don't know where that's from so uh, the, the this this wall will stay but think about it when we take that wall out um, where, wherever the wall ends we have to then build it up so it's gonna be it's not just as simple as take the ceiling tiles out now this wall here is blocked and goes all the way to the roof. You know, it goes all the way to the ceiling. Uh, so that's why this is ideal for my garage setup. So this section here, we're going to leave this door. We're going to put another door into the lab. So this, this will have to come out. Some of this wiring will get relocated. Uh, but this is 28 feet deep. And then um, this is uh, uh, 35 feet wide. Uh, so ceiling goes up, big giant 20 foot door, high speed door goes here. Uh, this is gonna become the dry ice lab and uh, indoor wash bay. Uh, and so picture garage door, big 20 foot garage door, hopefully a ride tech. And then there'll be a covered area right outside of here where we'll have an outdoor wash bay. So we have outdoor, indoor wash bay, uh, the other thing with uh, the dry ice, doing dry ice in here, is that I'll be able to just you know close this hole off and blow blow the um, you know blow any funk right out the right out the door. I suspect we won't be doing full dry ice restorations, but um, again, imagine this right now. The ceiling is what uh, nine feet, uh, and so we'll go up to uh, it'll go up to you know I think it's twelve feet at the low part of the purlin and fifteen feet to the roof, uh, and so. We're gonna have a lot of work to do with all the. We're gonna have to do like spiral duct. We're gonna have to do you know sprinkler relocation and all kinds of work. Uh, so it's gonna be a, a big, big project. Obviously, the flooring will come out, and uh, this section here will will be one part of the garage. Now, we're gonna build a hallway. So we're gonna go through the block wall here. This block wall. So this is all filled and insulated. So block block, block. Uh, and so on the other side of this wall is going to become my office. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put a hallway here that comes and connects the two garages and then my office will run, you know, it'll be roughly 24 feet by, uh, I think 18 by 24 is what my office will be. We're going to put a big window in here as well. Uh, and so clearly you see this is going to be a big project. We got to cut holes in block walls, which should, be, which should be a lot of fun. So then down here, the other side of the garage is over, you know, so it basically runs 90 feet that way. So it starts at the end of the building, runs all the way down here. <clears throat> we'll connect it with my office in the middle, uh, and then this door will go away. So this door is gonna go away, and we're gonna put a doorway on the other hallway wall. And so this is the other side of, of my studio. <clears throat> these are drywall walls. So this wall comes out, these offices come out, this wall comes out and comes about, kind of stinks, comes about six feet this way. So this mirrors, I know it looks smaller, 
but this is 28 by 35. So it'd be 35 feet wide. The other section is 28 by 35. And then my office will be roughly, uh, uh, you know, 20 by 24 or something like that. So picture a hallway, walking down the hallway here that connects to the other side of the garage. And there will be all glass here and you'll sort of be able to look into my office. And then we'll do that. Uh, I'm probably gonna do that where you, the polarize or whatever, you flick the button and the glass goes, goes dark. And then I'll obviously have to do some acoustic treatments because what I want to do in my office is if you think about, let's say this was, was the, the room, this is only 11 feet. So we're going to go another six feet that way or so. So office theater. And so TV, speakers, full, you know, seven channel, uh, uh, Dolby Atmos. And then I'm going to have a single couch and then my desk will be on the back side, so I'll be able to play and audition and test speakers out. The uh, ceiling will be up at you know, 12, 12, 15 feet, something like that. Um, but the, uh, the office is gonna be really, really cool, I think. Um, I've always wanted a cool office, I've never had one, so I'm gonna freaking build it. Otherwise, what's the point of doing all this stuff unless you get to do something cool? So, garage door here as well. I'm not sure what we'll do with the windows and how that'll work, but once we start tearing it apart, we'll figure it out. So remember, all this comes out, all that office comes out, all the ceiling comes out, so this becomes just a big giant you know, warehouse. There's a couple of beams that we have to work around, but we'll, we'll do pallet racking and stuff that'll, that'll, um, that'll fill in. Uh, so we had to open this doorway up in order to get pallets through, uh, and then picture this entire hallway. So the hallway will be, well, this will stay, but all of this will go. This whole wall on your left, this whole wall on your right, eventually comes out. So that's, I guess, phase four, when we connect the two warehouses. So what we'll do is probably gut all of this, get this functional, build a big doorway, uh, they take this wall out first. But this is uh, like 300 square feet of hallway that, I mean, it's kind of wasted, three or 400 square feet of, of hallway. Uh, and so this entire area comes out. And these are, this is a low wall, this is a firewall, but this, this is just drywall, double drywall. Uh, so office, office, that comes out. Uh, and then this, you know, opens up. So you can see our, our warehouse is functioning, right? So we have set up rows that all work or head toward packing. Uh, and so Ted and team, are here this is all categorized it's all now um, there's you know everything's down low so overflow is above uh, and the in the old warehouse everything was up just wherever we could fit it uh, and so now here they don't have to climb ladders as much they're climbing ladders to restock uh, notice they're scanning things so everything's barcode scanning um, they're still picking six orders at a time uh, but their carts fit we did double wide rows um, and so we have a lot more room, a lot more capability to, uh, to, to store stuff. All of our apparel stuff is here. Uh, and then it's set up as ABC stock, uh, where things are A's there. So the most picked stuff is on the left, and then the least picked stuff is down here on, on the right. Uh, and um, this is like 4,400, 4,500 square feet. So we were able to get our entire warehouse much, much more ergonomically set up and uh, there's, there's this actual system we have room to f pack this place in too but we shouldn't need to do that for a while um, I have a, a guy coming or we're gonna be developing uh, or I'm gonna be showing a product he's developed that will reject heat on the doors and I think we're gonna probably bring that to market so I think you guys are gonna like that so then down here is packing So they also put the large pallet racking in so we don't have to take and move the uh, pressure washers off the shelves anymore. Um, so this was, was uh, super helpful when they can put you know, stuff up, up, up high. And then notice everything comes down, gets on the, uh, I guess the, they took the conveyor out. Eventually we're gonna have a conveyor set up behind the packers, um, but they were able to get all their boxes in much closer proximity and uh, really think through this. And so we have one, two, three, four, five packing stations set up to uh, you know, package product and ship it out. We put it on pallets over here, uh, and then um, you know, the UPS guys, uh, USPS and UPS guys come 
they load up the USPS stuff in these little Gaylords that we have temporarily set up and then everything goes out the door. Super, super efficient. So the warehouse expansion is gonna go that way. Uh, and so in order to keep things contained, because you know, it's still a functioning facility, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this wall intact until the very end. Uh, and so there's this office here where purchasing is. And Donnie and Drew are doing all the purchasing of product, inventory management, Ted works closely with them. So Ted does the physical, they do the virtual. They're the ones that are you know, buying product and making it show up here on time, hopefully. We had a real, I, you know, that, that, that month and a half of us not being in the building really messed up our inventory because I wanted to run it lean. So that way we ended up with uh, not having to move as much stuff, but then because it lasted longer, we ended up running a little too lean. Um, but so they're, they're fixing all of that. So this here, so picture this and I'll show you the other side. It's probably hard to keep this straight on camera. And so this wall stays. All of this will tear all of this out. So this wall comes out. So there's another office that's the same width as this. Uh, and so we end up going, I think it's like 70 feet. No, I think it's 60 feet that way. Uh, and so this will double the size of the warehouse. It'll take it from 4,500 square feet to about 9,000 square feet. Uh, and so we'll go up and over, uh, and so we'll leave these doors closed, keep this all contained. Um, there's an exit, and I'll show you on the other side here. So when we're tearing all this out, we'll take it out nice and neatly, cleanly. I'll take all the ceiling tiles out, see if I can find you know somebody here locally, put on Craigslist, see if someone will come pick this up if they needed a, you know, it's all like brand new looking ceiling tile. I'd be ashamed to throw that away. We'll pull the drywall out. Um, so ceiling comes out first. Then the drywall comes out, we'll be able to assess the electrical and Mike will be able to figure out, you know, where do we cut that? Where do we cap that? Um, what do we do with the air conditioning ducts? All of that stuff. Uh, so it's going to be a really, really big project, but we're going to try to keep all the construction contained to certain areas. Uh, and so after we finish my studio, that's when we'll come over here. Clearly we're functioning well, um, but what I would like to do is clear all this out. Then we would bring all the curated stuff into here, all the build assembly, um, and then and then start working on you know that area over, over there. So the the connecting walls come out last. So like this wall here that runs down, you know this section here, all of that stuff comes out later. You know, but think of all of this doubling. So we take this warehouse how it looks now, with the ceiling like this, and we double it, and then we more than triple it. So we end up with about 16,000 square feet of warehouse space when it's all said and done. But again, we're not in any rush here. This is the next you know, two or three years we'll be, we'll be working on all this stuff. So this entire hallway, all the way, all of this, all of that becomes a big giant open area. It's gonna be sweet. But I mean, look at this, it's like freaking 100 feet long. It's crazy. Right now, you know, every single office has something going on in it, it seems. We've only been here for a month, um, or a month and a half. So this is where we're doing and working on all our deionization stuff. This is the setup that's going to my house to put into operation to make tweaks and figure out what works and what doesn't work. Should be pretty functional. So DI is coming at some point. Uh, we still don't have, we're waiting on one major part for our air conditioning system. Uh, so this here is a big project. There's all our racking. Uh, and so right now there's only one air handler running. There's three. Uh, and so there's only one that's running. Uh, and so what we're going to do is just sort of put together a basic operate and just, just make it operational. All of the exterior um, condensers are being replaced. Uh, and that's you know some of the parts we're waiting on. All the interior air handlers are in great shape, so they're all they're all you know 40 year life cycle devices. So all of these will be um, will be operational, up and running. When we do all the tear outs, we set up all the spiral ducting, and then we're going to do a you know a Johnson Controls you know control system for the whole place. Uh, in the interim, we're going to have just sort of a band aid, a couple of thermostats in order to control 
and then once we get everything figured out and we'll we'll re-engineer and rebalance the place I guess uh, but this is a pretty scary looking room <laughs> if you ask me it's all like you know three phase monster power here it's freaking wild and so then this is the back side that other side of the warehouse I was talking about um, so all of this will come out uh, you can see extra racking uh, this are, you know, sonic stuff, extra doors, you know, so this, um, this entire room will be taken out. This entire wall will be taken out. So this hallway will another several hundred square feet of hallway. And then this wall will go up. And so we'll, we'll have to build up the wall to, to finish that. This here will become technical support. Um, and so technical support needs to be close to the warehouse. So Manny and his team will be right basically glass looking into the warehouse we'll paint all the trim and make it look pretty we may even pull off the face trim and do something more modern uh, but um, this this entire area we want to have full access to the warehouse which will be all this way so it's gonna be pretty freaking cool once once we get this all set up and then we'll have to build a doorway here so it'll be a doorway right in this section. Right now, this is where um, the Wobbits are doing all their editing. Rice ran a, uh, set up a uh, ethernet connection. So we have our, our, our network uh, and our, um, our big uh, hard drive NAS set up. And then this temporarily is where they're doing um, th photos. So we set up my, what was our, our photo studio we set it up in here so that Nick can take photos. So he has this set up. And then back here, this is gonna become Mike's lab with easy access to the outside. The shed is also gonna go right outside there. We'll do a quick little walk around outside here shortly. But um, you can see, so pulled the, pulled the, whatchamacallit down, pulled the baseboards out, pulled the wallpaper off, and um, then start fixing drywall and, and then painting. So what we're gonna keep all the doors, we'll change the hardware and, uh, and same thing here. So started taking off the wallpaper and then start fixing the, 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 each room. So what we'll do is we'll empty out this room. We'll do this room. I think this is gonna become garage design back here. Uh, so we have, uh, you know, as you can see, quite a bit of work to do. And then this would become the garage design meeting room right here. Every room has something in it, which is my freaking nightmare. Down here is Chris's office. So the only two offices are Chris and Susie, uh, and then Joe will use the flex office, but everybody else is working with their team. Chris is dealing with people and money. Same thing with Susie, dealing with people and money. Uh, and so they, you know, they have their own separate offices. Back to the entry. This place is freaking giant. So let's take a little walk around outside and then I'll wrap this up for you. So Trevor's been out of here taking one bed at a time. Uh, they blew off the parking lot. We had the parking lot, so this was the very first thing before I moved in, I had the parking lot done, negotiated that in the deal. Uh, and so we have, uh, what was it? Um, I think inch and a half of whatever you call that stuff, asphalt. Uh, so they came, ground down the, ba the top lay layer, and then the base asphalt was still in great condition. Uh, and so now we have a 20-year you know, parking lot as long as we maintain it. It's restriped. I think the parking lot and the entry road was like 80000 to do. Uh, and so I negotiated that into the deal, and, uh, and so that, that, that was taken care of. But the building plan would be to brand it. Uh, we're going to get all the street lighting all dialed in. Uh, again, Trevor's working on all the palms and all the exterior. Uh, I'm going to try to see if um, Alan will come out, the lawn care nut, and help us with uh, figuring out a fertilization regimen. We're going to do it ourselves. And, uh, and then we're going to paint the entire exterior. So we'll brand it, paint it, set it all up. But, you know, this lot, I think it's three and a half acres. So, you know, I own up to the street, I own to, you know, basically there, but I do own the road. And then we granted the storage place an easement, so they have an easement to come in. Um, but I did pave the, uh, 
the road as well. So you can see we do, we do share that. Um, this section over here is where we have a generator. I forget how big the generator is. I think it's freaking, I think it's like 125 kilowatt hour, something like that. Uh, and so we're gonna put the shed here. So we're gonna cut these hedges back. Shed's gonna go in this position. That room there is Mike's lab. Uh, and so we'll have the shed looking here next to this, this little outbuilding here where the generator is. And then, you know, Trevor will maintain the property, keep everything looking good. This is, uh, I wonder if this is probably not open, but there's a big giant generator in here. And it's locked. All the gutters are, you know, 50 year gutters. The one thing I do need to do is we will have to replace the roof here in, in short order. So these are all the mini splits, which will stay, and we're gonna to try to maybe get those up and running. And then all these condensers are being replaced. So I think the, uh, no, I got that wrong. I think the air conditioning system was 80 grand. The parking lot was 110. The roof is like 150. So I held off on the roof uh, and we'll see. But you know, the way that I structured the deal with the bank was that um, they covered the air conditioning system. We shared in the parking lot expense and we shared in the roof expense. So we basically split it. Uh, but I could roll the extra into the mortgage. Uh, and so that's how, how I set it up. But this little farm here, when we get all our new condensers, they'll be quieter and all functional. It's gonna be great. So here's our, you know, our ingress, egress. So we don't have a loading dock, um, but we do have, you know, awesome area for trucks to come in, to come in, to, to enter and exit, which is really, really cool. Uh, and then we have this entire fenced in parking lot back here. Look how cool this is. So all fresh paved, all our sidewalks look great. Tell me this isn't the dream, man. This is freaking great. Someday I want to own this. Imagine I had, if I was able to own this, uh, this storage facility and we could, you know, stock product there. When I'm, you know, the, the, the North American and then eventually international distributor for most of the products that I sell, uh, imagine we're able to pull from there, bring it into the warehouse, and you know, ship it out so we can do our bulk inventory. We'll get high speed uh, forklifts running back and forth. Could be really freaking cool. And so back here will be my garage. So I'm gonna have my own parking area, right? We could fill this with cars. I can make little parking spots. So I think we have 100 and, 130 parking spaces, something like that. I can kick all these guys out and make them park out front uh, and just have this loaded up with uh, you know, covered parking areas. I don't know, we'll see. But back here in the corner is where we're gonna do the exterior wash bay. Uh, and so, again, my garage will run from that window all the way to the end of the building. It's like 90 feet. I think the building's 160 by 160 or something like that. Uh, and so, it's garage door, garage door, and then a covered, you know, like a, like a pole barn type or lean-to type structure that'll go on the, on the end of the building there. Obviously, we have to cut the curb and re-pour that, so it's gonna be a big project, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, yeah, man, this is, uh, this is really exciting. Another thing we'll do is Mike and Trevor will paint the building. I'm gonna pick a color. I'm gonna have, you know, OG hexes all over the place. Tastefully done, OG hex on the street. Uh, and then we're also going to build design studios here in a local area. And so we'll be getting people from all over coming and looking at these garages. Uh, we'll be hosting all kinds of events and stuff like that. Um, shoot, we might even start hosting our own cars and coffee here. It could be kind of cool have people come from all over. We certainly have the parking space for it. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be great. So. Anyway, thanks for the support. Wanted to update you on this. We're gonna be sharing this whole thing with you. 
Uh, another major series coming is the Garage Giveaway winner, Charlie. So make sure you're subscribed so you can check out that series. Uh, we're going to be taking you through the year-long process of from design to build. Uh, his garage is going to be really awesome. We're going to do the same thing here, share you with you from design to build uh, on our facility. Um, and then, you know, we're going to be developing all kinds of really cool products to, to go in this place and working with you know, the manufacturers to, uh, to make this really cool. And then, of course, this is always open. If you want to come see it in its current state, if you're in town, if you're in Central Florida, we're in uh, the Villages, Florida. Uh, the zip code's 32162, or this is 32159. So if you're ever anywhere near this area, come by anytime, come visit. As long as it's on the weekday. Sometimes I'm here on the weekends, but uh, you can't, I can't always predict that. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.